Hey guys, this is Taylor with Strength 911. We're here at Dr. Phone Fix in Coral Springs, which is one of our satellite locations. We're going to be replacing the battery on our Recoma RCM 1201PT. Let's check it out. Now, one of the things this is going to cause if your battery is dead on your motherboard is every time you shut the machine off, you're going to lose your files, whatever files are in your memory, and it can cause the machine to freeze while it's in the middle of operation. Any kind of electrical interference that you're getting, especially if you don't have it plugged into some kind of power conditioner, would uh, interfere with the motherboard and that would cause the issue. So uh, the battery that you're going to need, uh, let me grab that. The battery you're gonna need is actually a watch battery. It's a 1220 watch battery, really small, about the size of a dime. We've already replaced the battery in the machine. We decided to make the video after, so here we go. First thing is make sure your machine is off, unplug it, and then just to make sure that your machine has no static or anything left in it, because you're gonna be working on the motherboard, turn the switch on a couple of times. leave it in the off position. Next, on the back of the control panel, you're gonna have four screws. One, two, three, and four. Phillips head screws, go ahead and take those off. It's gonna be a little difficult to get it off at first because it's probably been there for a couple years. Just pop it off, bring it off, set it to the side. Uh, what we usually do is put the screws for it inside of it so that we don't lose them. Um, next, on the back of the motherboard. You have four mounting screws that mount it to the arm. One, two, three, and four. You're gonna take those off. Once you take those off, you can let it hang. The cables that it's connected with are strong enough to hold it. It's not gonna damage or anything like that. Next thing you gotta take off is the USB connection, which is right here. It's held on by four screws, one, two, three, and four. One of the screws I already have out because I dropped it and haven't picked it up yet. Once that is out, you can move it out this way or out that way or even disconnect it right here and set it aside. Um, once you have that set aside, Take off this single screw that holds the cables in place. And then once you can have that one off, there's four screws that hold this main control board in place. One, two, three, and four. Once you take those out, the motherboard will come up and you'll be able to see the battery on the motherboard. All you gotta do is use your fingernail to pop out the old battery, pop a new one in, and then in reverse order, Put everything back together. Four screws that hold the motherboard on, single screw right here that holds the cables together, the four screws for the USB, put it back into place on the control arm, put the four mounting screws that are in it that hold it to the control arm back in, and then finally the cover. Uh, plug your machine in, then you'll be ready to go. I'm Taylor with Shirts 911, as always, my cameraman, Chris Lauer.